Hello, my lovies. Welcome back. So, as you guys can see by the title, this is for my Cappy. Hey, gold. This is for Capricorn, Summer, Rising, Venus, and Mars. You guys know the readings may or may not resonate, okay? If it's your story, if it gives you confirmation, if it does resonate, comment below, all right? But you also know if it doesn't apply, let it fly, all right? So, basically... You know, I could be saying you, 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 and it could be them, 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 them. Just, you know, swap it, switch it, flip it, reverse it, whatever you got to do in your mind, okay? Um, you know, don't get triggered because I'm saying you and you know it's them, all right? Take what resonates for you and leave the rest, okay? Okay? No matter what readings you're watching, okay? Whether it's your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Mars, or it's from another reader. Any readings that you watch, take what messages that resonate with you. And if it doesn't resonate with you, leave the rest, all right? So, Cappies, we're going to hop in and we're going to start with um, an Animal Spirit Oracle, okay? And we'll see um, what the energy is and how this actually, um, you know, ties into the reading. I've done uh, Cancer and Libra. Um, you guys could be dealing with those signs or have those signs in your chart. But I'm saying that to say I pulled these oracles. This is how the oracle looks. Okay. Um, in the beginning for them and it was right in line and resonated with the reading. Okay. So let's see what energy shows up, what energy comes out. Look, this card is, so I'm going to put that on the side, it's showing itself like it wants to come out. All right. Um, and I'm still going to pull one. Then I will hop into the reading with the tarot as well as pull an oracle at the end to see how that ties into the reading for you guys as well okay um on these actual cards it sh it uh basically gives the backstory to the animal okay i'm not gonna read that i'm just gonna read the symbolism okay because that seems to be um you know the resonance okay so, let's see what's showing up for my cappies. We have Jaguar. Okay. The Jaguar. Okay. Um, who got this? <coughs> Somebody got Jaguar. Nonetheless. <laughs> the symbolism is wholeness, divinity, rebirth. I think it was cancer. Okay. So, definitely check out the cancer. Um was it Libra I think it was cancer I think it was cancer nonetheless um some of you could definitely be going through a rebirth okay a transformation um this is um for some of you regarding your divinity okay for others of you that rebirth is going to bring about a wholeness okay some of you could have been feeling empty you could have been feeling less than, okay? And that rebirth is going to bring about that wholeness for you in your life. And then we have deer. This is, this is the picture. The symbolism is uh, instinctual energy, independence, regeneration. Yes. So for some of you, this rebirth is that regeneration. That wholeness is um, go going to um, allow you to step in your independence, okay? And the universe is telling you, oh my goodness, I'm salivating again. Um, use your instinctual energy, which is your intuition, okay? Use your instinctual um, energy, <clears throat> which is going to help also with your divinity but use your instinctual energy when it comes to anything that you're dealing with in your life okay we also have hawk 
bottom of the deck. This is the picture, okay? Hawk is healing, vision, rebirth, spirituality. Yes. And now we have rebirth twice. So some of you, um, you could literally be on your second rebirth, okay? We go through many transformations, which is rebirth in our life, okay? It's just, it's not just one transformation we go through and then that's it, we're done in life. No, we have multiple because we're constantly changing. We're constantly evolving, okay? And the universe is saying there's going to be a lot of healing with this um, rebirth, okay? Some of you, your vision is going to become clearer, all right? Your vision is also your instinctual energy, okay? And for a lot of you, this has to do with your spirituality, okay? And hawks, the vision that the hawks have, please, okay? <laughs> they can see a mile of freaking way, okay? But you guys are meant to soar. You're meant to level up, and that's what's taking place, okay? And for a lot of you, this rebirth has to do with your vision, your spirituality, your divinity, okay, um, your independence. But there's going to be a lot of healing with that, okay, and it's going to bring about a wholeness into your life, allowing you to feel whole, to be, to be whole, okay, because some of you may not have been feeling that energy, and that's what um, that rebirth is going to be what helps you to feel that wholeness, to become whole again. Oh, I love that. Okay. So let's see how that um, ties into the reading for you guys. All right. As always, you know, I want you to set your focus and your intentions on receiving truth and clarity, as well as on um, receiving the answers to any questions that you guys are holding near and dear to your hearts all right so let's see yeah transformation who got transformation i think it, it was either cancer or libra one of them <laughs> if you have those signs in your chart absolutely check out those readings okay um if you don't and the title of the reading is calling you watch that reading because nine times out of ten there's a message in there for you, okay? But I definitely feel like you guys are going to, um, you know, be feeling whole again, especially if you haven't been feeling that as of late or at all, period, okay? This transformation, this rebirth is going to allow for you to feel rejuvenated, okay? It's going to allow you to feel whole again. I love that. There's nothing like feeling whole and complete, and that's what, for a lot of you, this rebirth is um, going to be the catalyst for that for you, okay? Listen to your intuition, all right? With Libra, there was a lot of that listening to the intuition. So, definitely, um, if you have that in your chart, check out that reading because it may definitely resonate with you. Let's get it. So we have the world card, okay? Chapters and cycles closing out and completing, okay? Achieving that wholeness. I love it. So we have the world. Look at that. Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful. Eight of Swords. Don't overanalyze it and overthink it, y'all. Okay, don't be a victim. Don't become a victim. Don't allow your thoughts to put you in victim mode. Okay, there's absolutely a turning point taking place and it's meant to and it's time to. Yeah, because look, Eight of Cups energy, you're needing to walk away. Okay, some of you are absolutely needing to walk away from those people, places, situations and things that have uh, kept you feeling stuck, stagnant and trapped. Okay, uh, this is the rebirth, that turning point, getting off of that karmic wheel, that karmic chapter, that karmic cycle, confirmation. Why? Because it's completed, because you learned the lessons that you needed to learn, or you're learning 
the lessons that you need you're needing to learn and part of the lessons that you're needing to learn is when to really release and walk away okay knowing when it's time to all right wow what's at the bottom yep look at that because this is what you're internally struggling with or about okay with that five of wands energy some of you this is absolutely what you're walking away from that internal struggle you're walk walking away from feeling emotionally dissatisfied with the eight of cups energy you're walking away from the chaos, the conflict, the confusion, the drama, the arguing, the fighting, the aggressive bullshit, okay, that you've been dealing with internally as well as with other individuals, okay? That rebirth is absolutely necessary, and I love this for you guys. So with the World Card and the Wheel of Fortune, we pretty much have the same signs, okay? Um, with the World Card, we have you guys, Capricorn. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. And with the Wheel of Fortune, we have Sagittarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. Okay? So you can have those signs in your chart. You could be dealing with those signs. Or this could just literally be the energy. Okay? But yeah, let's see why this Eight of Cups is here. And then we'll move into the rest of the reading. But it's absolutely time for solitude. Okay, it's time for you guys to seek the insight necessary because with this Eight of Cups energy, you're walking away, walking up that hill, going to um, converse with the hermit, okay, internally in solitude, introspection, uh, soul searching, self discovery to figure out what it is that you want, how to achieve that ninth cup, which is that wish fulfillment, okay. Yeah, so leaving this behind is absolutely what you're needing to do, okay? And some of you, that's what you're learning to do. You're learning to leave the chaos, the drama, the confusion, the um, <clears throat> the internal struggle, okay? The uh, competition, competitiveness, or energy, or aggression. You're learning to leave that behind, or that is part of the lesson, Okay, so let's see this Eight of Cups and then we'll move into the rest of the reading. Clarifying the Eight of Cups, yeah. So we have the Knight of Swords, the Six of Swords, there it is, moving on. The Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. So it may have taken you a while with this Knight of Pentacles, but it's time to, okay? Yeah. So some of you, that's exactly, you're walking away from the arguing, the fighting, okay? Walking away from the drama swiftly, quickly, okay? You could be dealing with someone that's at a distance. You could be at a distance from someone, okay? But this is about you moving on <clears throat> again mentally to calmer waters to calmer ground mentally and emotionally as well as spiritually okay <clears throat> some of you could have um been dealing with someone that you know was very irrational didn't think before they spoke always put their foot in their mouth you know confirmation yeah and there could have been an argument or a fight that took place, okay, where there was some very sharp or cutting words that were said. And I feel like um, you guys are no longer wanting to sit in that energy. So some of you, this is your transition, your journey, okay? You're moving on from the turmoil. You're moving from unsettled to being settled. You're moving on and letting go of old, bad ideas, habits, and or individuals. Individuals that <clears throat> could have tried to, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> see they don't want me to speak. Individuals that may have tried to intimidate you, make you feel insecure, Okay, and this could have been the reason why things were going slow or things were stop and go, you know, 
individuals that try to affect you financially, okay? But the thing about it is with this page of pentacles, you know your worth and your value, okay? You know your worth and your value. And you know that it's time for you to start depending on yourself because you are dependable. You are reliable, okay? It's time for you to start using that instinctual energy, okay? That instinctual energy. What's at the bottom? Ah, that instinctual energy. Exactly. The high priestess. Okay? Absolutely. freaking -lutely. It's time for you to start listening to and utilizing your intuition and allowing it to guide you because it is trustworthy. It is um, accurate. And it is dependable. You can rely on and trust in your intuition to lead you down the right path. Listen to it. Okay, absolutely listen to it. And some of you, that's what you're needing to listen to and walk away from this low vibrational energy. Okay, don't allow individuals to make you feel insecure about what it is that you feel, what it is that you know. Some of you, you're walking away from being a secret or walking away from someone that kept you a secret or kept secrets from you. Okay, with that high priestess energy. Yeah. Absolutely. freaking -lutely. Trust that inner voice. Trust that inner voice. It's time to. It's time to. Yeah. Because these, these lessons, these lessons are here for us to learn so that we can evolve, we can change, we can graduate. There can be forward movement. We can achieve the goals, the desires, wish fulfillment, the things that we are manifesting, okay? But it's about closing out those chapters and cycles because the thing about it is we don't want to stay on that wheel and keep going round and round and expecting a different result. That's insanity. That's insane. So the universe is saying this turning point is happening. The wheel is turning in your favor. Don't allow yourself to be a victim anymore. And don't victimize yourself by keeping yourself stuck and stagnant and putting yourself into a mental imprisonment. It's time. Listen to that instinctual energy. Your intuition. So we have Pisces with the High Priestess. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the Knight of Swords. And with the Page and the Knight of Pentacles, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Absolutely. Let's see the World card. So you guys are absolutely walking away from any turmoil. Yes. Some of you are about to um, make a dream a reality. And it may have taken you a long time. And it may be hard work. And although it may be going slow, the universe is saying stick to the plan. Because you are making steady progress, even if it's one step today, one step next week. It's still progress. Okay? Clarifying the, the world card. There you guys go. Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn Energy. Okay, so we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Queen of Pentacles is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Knight of Wands is Aries, Leo, Sag. Absolutely. For some of you, the lesson was to get grounded. The lesson was to know that slow and steady wins the race. Knight of Pentacles, okay? Some of you may have wanted to rush forward and move forward swiftly and quickly on this journey, but the universe is wanting you to slow down. So that you can smell the smell the roses, okay? The universe is wanting you to slow down so you don't make mistakes. You don't trip over your foot. You don't make um, irrational or rash decisions. You don't move in haste. There's a need to get grounded, okay? Because this is about your stability. This is about you nurturing yourselves, okay? So some of you, that's the lesson, all right? Or part of the lesson that you're needing to learn. For others of you, you learned the lesson of dealing with individuals that were not reliable, that were in and out, 
you know, that kept a level of imbalance, you know, and I feel like some of you could have been dealing with somebody that was a player, somebody that was, um, you know, very arrogant, you know, very selfish, all about themselves. And I feel like that's the energy that you guys are, are literally walking away from because you don't want to stay on this karmic cycle and have to repeat the lesson all over again, knowing damn well that you learned it. So I feel like, what's at the bottom? Look at that temperance energy. Absolutely. Sagittarius energy. I feel like the universe is saying there are some adjustments that need to be made before you close out this chapter and cycle. Not only are there adjustments need to, that, that are needed to be made, but the universe is wanting you to have patience. Have patience with yourself, have patience with others, but most of all, have patience with the process, okay? Because it is going to take time, okay? And that's the wheel of fortune as well, divine timing. Let's see that wheel. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with the Queen of Pentacles, Aries, Leo, Sag with that Knight of Wands. Clarifying the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, see? It's going to take time, but you guys are going to be independent. And remember, I think that showed up, independence, right? Let me see. Was it on one of the cards? I think it was saying something about independence. Yes, on the deer. The deer was instinctual energy, independence, regeneration. Absolutely. Okay? Absolutely. And this is the universe letting you know that whether someone is in your life or not, you're good. Okay? You're good. You being um, alone doesn't... It doesn't indicate that you're lonely. That's not what it's indicative of. Okay? Okay? Yeah, see, some of you, you may be single and you may be questioning or wondering how long you're going to be single, okay? And that's why I feel like the universe is saying, have patience, okay? Because if you have been single for a long time, you are probably getting ready to um, be off of the market, <laughs> okay? You're probably getting ready to be off of the market and no longer be single, but with this hangman energy you see that there's a lot of enlightenment that's coming and part of the enlightenment that's coming is about you really releasing and letting go of those old habits thoughts ways behaviors okay getting out of that energy not allowing yourself to be stuck or not allowing someone else to keep you stuck it's about you realizing you're no longer going to be the sacrificial lamb but it's also about you changing your perspective about being single. Being single doesn't mean being lonely. Being single doesn't mean that, oh my God, I'm a bad individual or I'm not marketable because I'm single, because I'm alone. No, you got to change your perspective about being single, okay? Because being single is a beautiful energy, okay? That's letting you and the world know that, no matter who's in my life or not, I'm good. I'm self-sufficient. I'm independent. Okay? I'm confident. I'm stable. I'm grounded. I don't need someone else to take care of me. But if I want someone in my life, I can have that. Okay? Like I said before, being alone, being single is not indicative of being lonely. Okay? So some of you are absolutely needing to have a new perspective about being single or being on your own or being alone and if you were questioning whether or not you can do something alone or on your own you absolutely can but again it's about getting a new perspective okay it's about um you know pausing it's about letting go and accepting the wisdom that is being bestowed upon you what's at the bottom yeah see it's about getting out of this energy this five of cups energy because a lot of you are reflecting back on the past, okay? Some of you could be reflecting on a third-party situation that someone had you involved in. But <clears throat> for others of you, you need to know that 
the more that you dwell on the past, the more that you're going to stay in it. If you just look up and remain positive, you'll know and you'll see that there's true love on the horizon, right around the corner. You can't stay in this Five of Cups energy. That's what you're needing to release and let go. Don't allow yourself to be a victim, even if you were a victim. Don't allow yourself to stay there. And the more, <clears throat> see, don't want me to speak. The more that you stay in this energy, this Five of Cups, the more you're going to stay in this energy. So don't allow those thoughts from the past to keep you stuck in the past and on the past. You've got to really release that and let that go. And for some of you, that's part of the lesson. That's part of the lesson. Let's see this uh, Eight of Swords. Hangman is Pisces as well. Clarifying the Eight of Swords, another card of Pisces. A lot of Pisces energy here. Uh, Pisces and Cancer, the Moon card. Yeah, this is how you're feeling secretly. This is what you're hiding from the world. But guess what? You can't hide it from God, the universe, your archangels, your spirit guides, your ancestors. You can't hide it, that from them. You cannot hide that from them. I also feel like what was hidden is coming to light. So if somebody was trying to sacrifice you, keep you as the sacrificial lamb, keeping you stuck or stagnant, this is coming to light. This is what's going to be illuminated, okay? But this is also the energy that you're needing to walk away from, okay? Clarifying, um, and we have the Empress, yes, okay? So for some of you, yeah. You may be having deep feelings for someone, okay? And this person may be looking at you as the empress, as wifey material. Some of you, um, you may be focused or stuck on the fact that someone was a player, someone um, was married, someone could have kept a marriage a secret or kept the fact that they got someone pregnant a secret. Some of you could be finding out that you're pregnant and this could be why your emotions are all over the place so some of you even unbeknownst to you because the moon card is unknown okay the unknown unbeknownst to you you may be pregnant right now and don't even know it okay i mean let's put this in perspective if you have not been having sex you know that you're not pregnant Okay, so <laughs> don't be like, I'm not even having sex. How could I be pregnant? Of course. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not for those of you that haven't been having sex. I'm speaking on some of you that may have missed your period. Some of you that are questioning why you're so emotional and you know that you've been having sex. Okay, some of you that ha have actively been having sex. And this is something that could be a possibility. That's who I'm referring to. Not someone that's been celibate. Not someone that hasn't been having sex. We know, okay? Some of you, like I said, unbeknownst to you, you may be pregnant right now and don't even know it, okay? And you could be wondering why you're feeling the way you feel, okay? For some of you, it is because you're pregnant. For others of you, you may be um, still thinking about or reflecting on the fact that somebody kept you as their wife a secret, or kept the fact that they were married and had a wife a secret. Or kept the fact that if you have children with this individual, they could have kept that a secret. So some of you are still um, upset about that. Some of you are still uh, thinking about that. But this, these are things that you're needing to release, okay? For others of you, um, there could have been some uh, deception, okay? We have Taurus and Libra. Pisces and Cancer with the Moon and the Empress card, okay? You can have those signs in your chart, okay? Somebody could have a Moon in Pisces, Cancer, Taurus, or Libra as well. You know, these could be Moon sign energies. Nonetheless, 
there was definitely something that was kept a secret, something that was hidden, okay? Or some of you could be feeling deceived by a wife, a baby's mother, your actual biological mother, or this empress energy, okay? And this is something, again, that you're needing to look at different, have a new perspective, and or release or let go, okay? What's at the bottom? Yeah, because it's done. It's done, okay? For others of you, you could be stuck on the fact that somebody ended something and you're feeling deceived and betrayed because something ended. Somebody ended something with the death card, okay? So we have um, Scorpio energy as well, okay, with the death card. For others of you, this is the rebirth, okay? Remember I was saying rebirth? This is the rebirth that is going to allow you to be in that Empress energy, allow you to feel whole again, okay? Now, for another set of you, I need to say this. My condolences if you lost a child or a mother, okay? Some of you could be grie grieving the death of a child, okay? Or the death of a mother, okay? Or a maternal figure, I need to say my condolences as well. If this is something that you guys have been dealing with and you're feeling stuck, stagnant, or in your head, you're ruminating about this, um, don't allow this situation to keep you in a victim mode or mentality, okay? This is something you're really having to work on um, healing, okay, and releasing, okay? Okay. We did have uh, healing on the hawk, okay? The hawk card was about the healing. So some of you are really needing to work on healing, okay, from, um, you know, the passing of someone. And I do, again, want to say my condolences. But I also want to say don't allow this situation to keep you feeling stuck with that Eight of Swords energy, Okay? Don't allow it to keep you stuck. Muster up the confidence and the courage to keep moving forward. Because again, this is about you walking away from disappointing or dissatisfying um, emotions. Okay? And the moon card is about emotions as well. So some of you, you have deep emotions about this, but you're needing to release and let that go by having a new perspective which there's a lot of enlightenment coming regarding this, okay? So that's definitely for some of you. For others of you, you ended something, okay? You ended a connection because of you finding out that this person was married, okay? Or that they were um, having an affair or had you in a third-party situation. Remember that Five of Cups showed up, you know, don't keep yourself on that wheel by replaying over and over again in your mind what happened or the fact that this person was a player, okay? You learned the lesson that you needed to learn from that situation. Don't allow it to victimize you, keep you stuck and or stagnant. And that's the reason the universe has paused Okay, that's the reason the universe has paused because they're wanting you to get enlightened, know your worth and your value. Okay, and don't allow these situations from the past to keep you stuck and stagnant. Okay, it's the death of the situation, not the death of you. Okay, so remember that and definitely put the work into, um, releasing it and giving yourself the love that you want to receive, okay? Definitely put the time, energy, effort into moving on from the emotions surrounding it, okay? And for a lot of you, this could be something that, you know, happened in the past, but it's coming up because... 
you haven't gotten closure, you haven't fully healed from it, okay? Or you are still thinking about it and that's what's keeping you stuck, okay? So the universe is wanting you to realize that and really move on and away from that so that that wheel can turn in your favor and you can get those blessings that you deserve, okay? So, we're going to get you a Messages of Love Oracle. Oh. Sorry, y'all. I had to wipe my face. It's hot as hell. <laughs> so, we have interference. Yeah. It says, an external party is intruding on this relationship. So that's what was going on. There was interference or there is interference. Because like I said, some of you, this is definitely something that was in the past. For others of you, that's what's going on now. There's um, a third party situation, you know, and you're feeling deceived. Understandable. Absolutely understandable. But don't let this situation keep you stuck. Okay? Know your worth and your value. Okay? Absolutely, freaking -lutely. And then we have, wow, bottom of the deck, intuition. Exactly. I remember that high priestess came up as well, right? It says, you already know the answer you seek. That's the instinctual energy. <laughs> that is it. That's the instinctual energy. It's about you listening to your intuition, okay? Also paying attention to your dreams with the moon card. Some of you may have a dream, okay? And the, the, in this dream, it's going to give you the answers, okay? On how it's going to bring you the enlightenment and give you the answers on how to move forward, on how to heal, okay? Because also we had, what card was it? I think the hawk, the hawks was about healing, vision, rebirth, spirituality. The deer was instinctual energy, independence, regeneration. And the jaguar was wholeness, divinity, and rebirth. Yeah. So allow this rebirth to take place through healing, through your independence, through listening to your intuition. Okay. There's a lot of clarity that's coming. All right. But again, listen to your intuition because you already know the answer that you seek. Period. Period. Okay. And whatever the this is or whoever this is that has you in this emotion, emotional turmoil, has you feeling stuck and stagnant, it's time to really walk away. Because that's ultimately what this is about. You walking away from those people, places, situations, and things that no longer serve you because you know your worth and your value. Okay. So depend on that. Depend on your intuition. Depend on yourselves. Okay? And just know that you got this because God got you. Period. All right, my loves? Allow this rebirth to happen. Allow this transformation to take place. Because there's a wholeness that you're going to feel on the other side of it. Not the Eight of Swords, the, the hangman energy. You're no longer going to feel that. Not the Knight of Swords, okay? You're no longer going to feel stuck and stagnant once you allow this rebirth to take place. Once you allow this transformation, okay? That wholeness is there for you, okay? So continue to keep your vision tunnel. Continue to remain your lovely. But most of all, be well. And I'll holla.